Hello again, this is Christy with the Laugh or Die podcast, and I took a little road trip, and I went to where Sebastian's mother and stepfather live. Sorry if it's a little shaky footage you see right here, but this is a fat neighborhood. These houses are nice. And coming up on my left, not that one, not that one. Not that one. We're almost there. Boom. This. You can see the camper conversion in the in the yard there, in the driveway. And it looked to me, when I was looking at the door, it all, and I've heard someone else say this as well, it almost looks like a uh, type of lock that you push a combination So if that were the case, it would make sense that the door was locked when they woke up that morning and found that Sebastian was missing. I could be wrong, but it kind of looked like that. Look at these houses. I mean, maybe I'm just really poor, but these seem crazy. And what you're going to find in a minute is the neighborhoods are great, but they're under construction. Like another street over, when you see the construction aerial, it is so close. And there's so many houses just the next street over that are for sale. No one's living in them, I assume, with them having for sale signs. And it looks like the construction is not complete. And it's mind-boggling to me how many places there could be to hide a body in this area and really close if you really wanted to. This is me driving down the next street over. And we're going to come dead into here in a second to the construction site. But it blew my mind how much construction is going on in that area. Also, near where Chris's parents live. So I found that interesting as well. Let me see if I don't knock it over. I may be driving by that house again. Nice, huge houses. Pay no attention to the trash in my car. See which street, see, boom, right in front of me, all that construction. A lot of dirt, lots of equipment, too, I might say, in and around. And so I drove down to see more construction. I mean, there are dumpsters everywhere. I'm assuming, surely, they went through them all, but this is the dead end. So this is, see the gate That's Sebastian's house has that gate around it. A lot of the houses have a very similar gate. So he would have to get through the gate as well. I didn't see if there was a door. I'm assuming there was a door. They also don't tell you there's a side door. So where you saw his um, conversion camper, right next to it is that side door. So they say there's a back door that has like the mudroom. There's the front door. And then there's a side door where the driveway is. So three different exit points of that house right there. But I found it interesting. There's a little gully kind of behind there, which surely to God, they checked that. It goes behind the house. And the aerials that I saw, it seemed like you could get through there, but I couldn't really get to behind the houses the way the roads looked. This is one of those retention ponds. It does not look very empty to me. Uh, surely they've checked that. That's the one that's right next to the construction. I mean, there's houses right there. So I'm hoping and praying that they did a thorough job of checking it. And they said that they found footprints near there. Again, who knows? We hear a lot that we don't really know 100% if it's accurate or just People getting overly excited and reporting things that aren't true. But we know as of today, April 14th, 
that the van is back, the camper van is back in the yard. So this is some of the construction I was telling you about. You see dumpsters everywhere. I mean, it blows my mind how many dumpsters are in and near that area. I mean, if I were one to hide a body and a god, like I said, I hope that I'm wrong. There are a lot of dumpsters that you can choose from. And again, tons of houses that are not finished. Some of them that are, are not sold. Have I'm hoping that they've checked all this construction to make sure that they don't haven't missed something and that Sebastian isn't in one of them. See that little outlet right there? I'm assuming someone checked in it if they had a worry of him hiding in places. That was right, almost like you're going to the main road from their subdivision. So hopefully they checked that as well. It's, it's freaky. And then right here, again, you see, if you go straight down that road, which is the road, I believe, right next to, like adjacent to it, tons of construction right at the tail end. I mean, maybe a teenager would like that. I don't know. This is a pond that I found on what they call Happy Hollow, which is a street over, and it's very rural. Very, a lot of places you can have a body. Like I said, you've got this little pond right here that's right off of the road. I drove up to it as close as I could. I didn't see anything. Nothing stuck out other than a couple of ducks, but we don't know. This is as we're getting close to Chris's parents' house, mom and stepdad. Now, I find this interesting because Chris's mom and stepdad are one house away from being at the dead end of this cul-de-sac and this is a dumping site you've got a lot of people that are dumping uh it looks like there's construction materials but it also has a pretty good little drop-off point and farmland right after it and then you can see the a uh the electric poles so I'm assuming some of that is also public land, maybe? Or not anything that people own, maybe the TVA own. But I mean, man, I was shocked how much debris was around this area. Shrubs, overgrown uh, vegetation, and it's all feet from Chris's mom and stepdad's house. And this is in Gallatin. So Cal Gallatin is like the next city over from Hendersonville. And where they live, it's it's almost on the edge of Hendersonville and Goodlettsville. I mean, it's kind of vague to know which it really is. I'm sure their mailing address is Hendersonville, obviously, but I would almost consider that to be Goodlettsville having grown up in that area. Again, you got all this wooded area. A lot of people I've heard say, well, haven't they checked, you know, across Long Hollow, there's all this woods. Well, what you don't understand is a lot of that woods is a good 30, 40 degree incline. So it would be impossible to dump something there. I mean, you'd have to drag it up a hill. Or uh, it, it's fenced off to be farm area, so very difficult to get to. And if you're doing it in the middle of night, in the cover of night, that would not be where I would dump a body. Also, Long Hollow Pike is a very, very busy road, busier than when I was a kid. So if I'm going to be dumping a body, even if it's 3 o'clock in the morning, I sure as shit am not going to be doing it there, um, where a car could come by at any moment. However... 
Happy Hollow. Probably not going to have that much traffic at midnight to three in the morning. Not a lot of cameras. Not a lot of light. And there are so many creeks and ponds in that area. And from where Chris Proudfoot lives to where his mother lives. So many creeks and streams. So many of them. Chris's mother lives 14 miles, almost exactly, to where Chris's house is. 14 miles. I know that's a lot of area to cover, but if I was going to dispose of a body, you know, part of me, I kept thinking, well, that would be such a great place. It'd be so easy to hide the body there, but then that would kind of make you look guilty. If it, and you can see that's that's uh, Chris's mom and stepdad's house. That's their vehicle. People say that they're in Alaska right now, and it's hard to see, but they have a no trespassing sign there. Uh, Chris's house also no trespassing sign. I, I did not see any uh, missing signs in front of Chris's mother's house, but there was one in front of Chris and Katie's, and I found a few as I was driving around down the country roads, and it's it's just devastating to me. I hope upon hope that they are able to find him sooner than later, just so that the dad has some closure. I, I would love for him to be alive. I hope I am wrong. I hope he is alive. But it's just such a vast area. A lot of woods, a lot of dumping sites, a lot of uh, little ponds and streams with drop-offs that you wouldn't be able to see from the road. Again, if it was me, if I was a cop, I would look around Chris's mother's house because there's also a pond that I couldn't get to, but I can see from Google Maps at, right near their property and a, a lot of a wooded area, but also Happy Hollow. In that area, there's a lot of little hollows out there where anything could be dumped or hidden and you wouldn't find it unless you were really, really looking. So this is me here in Nashville. I drove up there today, Hendersonville and Gallatin, to give you some pictures and give you an idea of what the area looks like. Thank you again for watching today, uh, Laugh or Die podcast. <laughs>